Hello again, thanks for watching this video. Today we are going to be playing Splix.io in team modes. We are doing another challenge where if we lose one life the video ends. If you can see that there is 5 hearts underneath the map. If either me or my teammate dies once we both lose a life. So I have to trust in my partner and make sure that we don't run into anyone. Because we spawned in someone's area so this might make it hard to live. I will also give tips and tricks on how to be top 1 in Splix.io. As you can see here I'm very laggy so sorry if it shows you that I died at the edge I actually didn't. Anyways normally in team games the map is open and not a lot of people in certain areas so you can take a large area of space. Dominating is big key to winding the game so you can take care of other people that are much smaller and then after you take them out and have more land than you can go for the larger territory places. The map is also always key to your survival. Check the map once and a while to see other territory and the space left on the map so you can make larger lines in areas with less land and come back with a ton and huge land. But remember where your territory and don't stray off to places where others are causing you to die and make your team lose a heart. As you can see I was a little bit lost when I came back from the trip that I had and my partner protected and helped protect the territory while I was away. This was important just in case another person comes along and steals a chunk or your whole land and then you all die. Sorry if the game is a little boring. It's much like paper.io but it has a lot of unnecessary space for the map. The map is way too big and is way too large for you to actually have fun. They should cut down the size because a few seconds ago I was taking ages to get to the edge of the map and take that big of a chunk. But I do say it's much better than paper.io because in that game you are just play against bots which is no fun. You can tell that they are bots by their playstyle and all that. But for this game you can tell that there are real players actually playing the game. One time when I was playing the game I was up against someone and they knew how to defend and move correctly without dying by me. Okay if you haven't already please hit the like button and subscribe it helps me a lot on my journey to at least get to 15 subscribers by the end of August. If we can also get 5 likes and if you guys like Splix.io then I will make more videos on it but for now this is it. As you can see on screen the blue team is the dominate team and as of right now I'm coming back into the territory that we have. You just have to coordinate correctly with your team. Having more people on your team doesn't make it better unless they know how the game works and they don't die and don't cost the game. Another thing that I forgot to mention is that you can touch other people's lines and you can kill them even if they are on the same team. This causes your team to lose a life if you do this so make sure you don't have a jokester doing that stuff. If you also hit your own line then you can kill yourself and lose one life. My teammate from what I heard found the other team that is number one so hopefully we don't die from th too late.